So recently I did a video talking about whether you should go for a new B550 motherboard or a nice high-end X570 motherboard and it ended up being one of my best performing videos ever, getting like three and a half thousand views in its first week or so, which is absolutely insane. So looks like maybe after almost seven years my channel's finally going somewhere, but hey ho, if I started complaining I would ever stop, so let's talk about something else, shall we? So today we'll talk about the often forgotten member of the Ryzen chipset family and that is x470 at a time before x070 x470 had its place as this slightly better version of b450 still many people went for b450 because it was way cheaper and offered much everything everyone needed at the time but now times have changed and is x470 even worth it or has it been replaced completely by better and newer things and quick answer Pretty much yes. So X470 falls into this weird territory of doing a lot of things better than B550, but also doing a lot of things worse. And uh, compared to X570, it does pretty much everything worse, because X570 is a proper high-end step up from X470. So you can expect all features of X470, plus some, like PCIe Gen 4 support and WRMs, in your X570 motherboards. So is there really anything left of X470 to offer? Well, because of its age, prices for it are going down. Because unlike B450, but like B550, X470, and all these numbers are getting rather complicated, but X470 offers SLI support, which is great, but like I said in my previous video, which if you haven't checked out, it'll be up in the iCards, I recommend it. So basically, but basically it's a thing that many people not, may not even want in a more budget motherboard, because well, because if you have the money to go with two graphics cards, you should probably have the money to go with something nice and high end like X570. So is that it? X, is X470 dead? Well, it's more of a thing of if you can get a good deal on it, then it can still be a good choice. It's basically B450 plus. Better VRMs, SLI support, and usually better connectivity, more electrical PCIe lanes, etc. And since they're pretty old, if you can find one cheap, then go for it. And they'll probably drop even further in price when B550 drops in the next few days. However, at, at the current price range, you may be better off going with B550, which will offer way more cool features. They will offer PCIe Gen 4 support, they will offer usually on par VRMs, usually on par if slightly worse connectivity, 2.5 gig LAN, which is something amazing and something that even some lower end X570 motherboards don't have, but which all B550 motherboards do. And if all of that sounds like something you need, then go B550. As B550 has pretty much replaced everything X470 had going for it at the same price. So, like I said, pretty much only go X470 if you can find a good deal on it. Otherwise, just wait those few extra days and go B550. You really won't regret it. And if you have the extra money, go X570. And like I said, if you want any more details on that comparison of B550 to X570, make sure to check out my previous video. Like I said, it'll be up in the iCards. I highly recommend watching it because I need all the views. And let me know what you think of the new B550 launch. Let me know what you think of X470. Let me know all of that good stuff down in the comments below. And while you're down there, check out the description where you'll find a link to my Discord if you want to talk to me or others about this video or whatever else. Down there's my Patreon if you want to help, you know, support the channel monetarily. As if one dollar a month goes a long way in helping me make way better stuff and also videos on way more interesting topics. Well, I guess that's really it, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you didn't, subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.